And just thinking that thought, I bet this goes up way easier. Let's try it. From the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood, join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Hello, hello. Got an upper body day today. Feeling good. Feeling pretty well recovered. Uh, feeling like I've been eating pretty good. At least today. Uh, New Year's. Ooh, that was a, uh, a big bad boy time. I was uh, eating way too much and uh, waking up with, you know, those, those thick grab love handles a couple days later. For me, it always takes a couple days to really sink in in my body what big of a mistake I made. You bad boy, you. So then traditionally what I would do is then severely cut for the next two days to get back to equilibrium. And then what usually happens is I'm flat and kind of weak for those workouts and I keep doing this thing, overeat, undereat, overeat, stasis, not going anywhere, you big dummy. So I corrected that because this is a year of change. I didn't undereat. And uh, a couple of days later, it wasn't wouldn't that big of a mistake. So we're, we're doing all right, feeling good. Um, first day, technically, of the Hollywood work cycle beginning. Um, and I had an audition today, a commercial audition. Uh, matter of fact, tomorrow I will post uh, a few things that could be helpful for anybody that's going out for commercial auditions and how they differ from film and TV auditions stylistically and uh, from a narrative versus persuasion uh, perspective. Um, so now that I said it, I have to do that. That's going to be coming tomorrow. Stay tuned. Or it might be the same day as this video because I usually do the workout videos the day after. You don't care. All right, so today's going to be a big workout. Uh, pretty quick as well, so I may not go as heavy on every single thing because I don't have as much time as I allotted. Uh, but you saw me doing some band pull-aparts. That was just to get some blood into the upper back and rear delts. I'm at the very end of my workout. I think I've mentioned this before. I just did my neck. I add neck into my warm-ups to get some working sets but not have to program everything in and track it. I do the same thing with my rear delts. So again, I get some blood in there from the band, come over here, take this grip on a rope on a high pulley, step back, one leg in front, one leg behind, pull, boom. Once you get it to the top, so this is where a mind-muscle connection really comes into play. It can be easy to kind of like just go through the motions on these. You really want to think about squeezing those rear delt muscles. Try to feel them. And then when you get to the top, try to externally rotate, which is going to be really good um, for that, bas that back musculature and keeping your posture right, um, keeping you from looking like one of those guys who benches every day and his shoulders roll forward or somebody who sits at a computer all day. If you do, this is a great exercise to kind of correct some of those things posture-wise. Uh, and what I'll do sometimes, as I'm about to fail on the external rotation, I'll just stop externally rotating, get a few more, just strictly thinking about squeezing those rear delt muscles. Uh, uh, and then come straight back to the band. While they're pretty fatigued, grab semi-close, boom. Rip this out, this, this grip you have on it. Don't let it go until you're struggling. Move the hands out just a little bit. Get a few more reps. Uh, uh, uh. Do it again. Uh, uh, uh. And uh, that could be it for the day. I'll, uh, I usually will go through two of those. Today I'm a little pressed. Going right into the workout. All right, here we go. First working sets here. Uh, I'm gonna have to go straight from bench to weighted pull-ups because I gotta be on time. Be on Tim. One of my um, buddies, actually I can't even remember who it was. Was it my college linebacker group or my high school? I don't know, either way, a long time ago. It would always say on the board, be on time, and he would always erase the E on the whiteboard, so it always said, be on Tim, which I thought was funny. And uh, 
there was no Tim in the in the room, so it wasn't very actionable advice, but be on Tim. Come on, Tim. Yeah. Okay, that felt heavy. <laughs> felt pretty heavy, boy. All right, here we go. I usually just do the straight overhand pull-ups. I think today I'm gonna go the 45 degree angle. I think I can load it up a little bit more and maybe pump a little more weight than usual today if I do it that way. Let's see. Uh. Huh. Move. It's a lower rep scheme day for me. Stopping at fours, so. In case you were wondering. That last set uh, pissed me off a good bit uh, because I felt like it shouldn't feel that heavy as if I earned that. Um, <laughs> I'm still making my way back, so still everything feels a little heavier. But, uh, Sometimes I wonder, well, scratch that, take it back, reverse it, Wonka. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder, uh, well, sometimes I think about, stick with me, that's my brain in real time. I think about somebody super strong, like James Harrison. I see his videos, he's throwing up like 500 pounds. And then I think to myself, this is only 330, come on, man, you, you're better than that. You can't struggle with this. And just thinking that thought, I bet this goes up way easier. Let's try it. Nah. Stop. Whew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was really close to hitting that tripod the whole time. Kind of took away from my set, but uh, that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, pressed on time. These rest sets getting shorter and shorter. Go on Spotify and uh, you go to check out a new single from an artist that you like and you don't realize that it's gonna repeat over and over and over again. You don't even take note of it until something starts feeling a little off with you. Uh, like a, a white noise machine. Like you don't even know there's a problem until it turns off and like your shoulders on hunch. Uh, that's happening to me right now. I like the song, it's by Logic. It's got these 90s vibes, it's making me feel tough kind of for no earned reason, uh, which is good for the workout, I guess. But um, now I'm starting to feel a little weird about it. So I'm gonna change the song, but. You should, you should do that too if you ever if you realize that you're running into that problem. Oh, I went to click next and it's the same song. All right, next set. Ooh. 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 Ah. Why not? I'm gonna keep this running. I gotta smash through all of my auxiliary lifts in one giant set, five different exercises. I might be able to get through two of them because I only got nine more minutes. I'm gonna go to the uh, uh, incline press, to the seated row, ah, to dumbbell lateral raise, uh, easy bar curl to easy bar uh, skull crusher. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Who needs cardio, right? Uh, just be irresponsible with your time and have to short your workout into one giant set. Uh, uh. Oof, here we go. Ha. Ah. Come on, my mic. Here we go. Ah. Oof. Ha. Ah, I did. I'm doing it on that song thing again. I accidentally clicked another single logic song. Oof. Oof. 
I got another fun audible to spice this whole workout up. It's gonna happen again when my wife's gonna come down and give me a look to end it. So that's when I'll stop, make sure I can get her in the frame. You guys will know what kind of fear I'm talking about with one look. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. No time to change the song. Keep losing brain cells. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, ooh, come on. Uh, uh, oh man, that's a lot heavier than that. Immediately drop a bunch of weight off. Drop 20 pounds off that one. 105 to 85. All right, here we go. Ha! go skull crushers oh. ah. will this even be in frame let's see what we got ah. close enough Whoa. We'll go one and a half here. This feels this felt heavy on the biceps, but this feels light on my triceps, so I'd rather burn it out a little quicker. Keep that constant uh, tension. On the tricep. Ah, oh. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh. You know the rule. You gotta take your shirt off in my weight room. Ooh, four minutes. I've only got four minutes. Here we go. I really need to change this song. Nah. The radio. All right, here we go. All right. Do the incline press.
Oh. Yeah. Ah. Lighten up on these laterals, go to 40. They nasty. I was made for this. Ah, get off of me. Ah, 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 partials. Ah, damn. Ha ha. Ah, all right, find a way. That's all she wrote. Jenna didn't come down yet, but I'd rather her not have to come down here. I'd rather be true to my word than get another set in. 